Hi there and welcome, friends of the stars, to Mega Corps Incorporated, where we uh, try to revive our research dominance and so help our federation to become great, unbeatable, and make our business grow. We want to revive many people and we want to make us great again in space and space itself is a little bit dangerous but thankfully we've got friends that got our back ingolstadt has finished its construction queue very nice um currently we should definitely remove some blockers because we've got the energy credits for that and the time so let's just do it because we can. There we are. Waiting it out a bit, maybe. And reforming what we have. Yay, Sirius Prime. There's a lot we can, there's so much we can remove. What is there? Generator districts, mining districts, agriculture districts. A rich mountain. It's gonna be cool. Grow our population a lot more. Preparing that as well. But for now, we're removing stuff. <laughs> the Schwabland has already become an agri world now. So the next thing we build here may just be. Yeah, what? What? Where's our food? Go for exotic gas refineries. We have exotic gases, we have crystalline caverns here. And so the next thing should be definitely a mining district, right? Actualized. And improved covet hulls. Nice. Advances in building techniques will allow for the construction of sturdy and more durable covets. We can repeat that even. Look, we have that thing going. Yeah, it's rare, so... Let's just do it. It's, it's not bad. We only have military choices, so... We have to choose one of them, and why not that? Make the covets even better. Covets are a pretty good option. Also That's against the crisis that will pop up ah, ah, sooner or later. And Alpha Centauri Prime has finished something. And... I think we can... Remove a little bit more. Too. And your Schwabenland has removed something more. We have now crystalline caverns there. And we should go for these, I think. No, we don't need translucers. We need... Where are they? Chemical plants. Yeah, we have the crystal mines. We have the crystal mines. The crystal mines are okay. They're just not in the mining district. That's what irritated me shortly. There we go. Twex Prime. Yeah, they are really doing well with the galactic market they have. Research actualized. Improved deflectors. These upgraded deflector screens are capable of soaking up even more punishment before they overload. And now, we go research station output improvement. That is something to our liking. Up 
Let's there we go. Complete. Sirius Prime has finished its construction queue. Good. Absolutely good. <coughs> I'm sorry, we're all for it. Hmm. <laughs> Need more people and more agriculture, my god, in New Schwabenland. That would be good. Could pre build something. Do we have. Yeah, actually, we should do that. And. We have uh, hydrophonic farms. Hmm. Let's build another agriculture district. Should be okay. It's an agri world now. Who knows what it will become? Sirius Prime is going to be decidedly urban. Now let's have a look. We have something here. Exotic gases are at zero. That's quite okay. Upscaling complete. Nice construction queue is ready. Oh, we can upgrade to research complexes. Mm, that would be nice too. Alpha Centauri Prime finished the construction queue. Good. Good. We could go for some more civilian fabricators because we will need them. Look at that, what we have here. Ooh, we could upgrade them to research complexes. How is growth here, by the way? It's quite good. We could do that, but what we really need is... We need more civilian fabricators. We should wait until we have a technology for that. We will upgrade that building here. Also upgrade the research labs. And here as well. Wait, no, we'll we'll have to have more agriculture there. Things will become very interesting once we get more corporate buildings. Scaling complete. Look at that. New Schwabenland finished its construction queue. Nice. So the population that is coming will be very nice. We have two more farmers. And then, what then? Let's have a look at the diplomacy, at the empires. Yeah, the Forden, why not? Thankfully, we are in the Sanguine League, right? <laughs> they are protective of us. Yeah, they know what they have there. The ones that will decide in the end with their research, flying along. Specializing in civilian technologies. That's definitely possible here if you get into a federation, I think. That is good. Yeah, 
if we see a civilian technology, we go for it. It's just like that. Upscaling complete. Nice. Research actualized. Finish the queue. Artificial moral codes. Crime goes down, amenities goes up. It's a circumstance that dictates what is moral. Find the circumstances and ethics is like clay in your hands. <coughs> oh my god, we could go chemical bliss. Hmm. Is that good? Resources from jobs. Synthetic thought patterns. Thinking outside the box merely places you in another somewhat larger box. But a larger box can be really good, right? Resources from jobs plus 5%. That would be great. Galactic bureaucracy would be too. Do we need it right now? Not yet. Not yet. So we have these two possibilities. I think it's probably Mildred's turn with, with that. On the other hand, the galactic bureaucracy would be a lot faster. On the other hand, we don't need the administrative cap. So synthetic thought patterns is it is it is that we're gonna do. It's gonna be cool. Very cool. Look at our influence. We can use the influence again. We should do that. Edicts. There we go. What would we need? Capacity overload. Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> no, we need research grants. That's something that we really value. And we'd like farming subsidies as well. And maybe that. The, the philosoph philosophical mindset of master's teachings. There we go. Increase research speed for society research. Because we can. Because we're getting a lot better now at researching. More declared. Oh, the the Panaxalas are declaring rivalry. Yeah, declare rivalry all you want. Um oh okay. Karabna declared war on Panaxala. Oh, it's you. Would you mind self-actualizing somewhere else? I've got so many rivals now. It's crazy. Upscaling complete. Mega Earth has finished the construction queue. Nice. That's our population. 47 pops. We might reach 50 quickly. Crazy. All jobs filled? No. Miners and clerks are needed. And researchers, of course. We're losing some exotic gases. That's not bad. So the next step would be some artificial worlds. We're gonna look into that and what we need for that is Technologies that will increase the size of the ships we can build. Also, we need more consumer goods. Yeah, let's look into that. Quantum probes. Research station output plus 10%. Advanced probes that can thoroughly analyze subjects on a subatomic level, generating a wealth of valuable research data. So even more research, we love that. Ah, uh, energy credits. That's just what we not need. It could be useful, but no. 
overflow of that. The hyperlane breach points, on the other hand, be quite helpful. The subspace sensors, no one else has researched that. Antimatter reactor, yeah, let's go. Let's go the, the easy way, the research agreement way. Hyperlane breach, breach points for hyperdrive two and the hyperlane registrar. Nice. There we go. Many. Oh, look at that, the agri-world. The planet lacks enough housing for all of its pops. That's tragic. So what we need is housing then. And we'll get that via districts, of course, because they deliver good housing. Build another district then. <coughs> Research actualized. Advanced covert hulls. The latest generation of covert hulls have optimized structural integrity fields and improved bulkheads. Oh, these heads are so bulky, I love it. And now, hmm. What did work Yeah, no one still has that. Star Fortress could be good. Starbase Abu. Star Fortress can house three buildings and a full complement of six modules. Would be very helpful indeed. Fusion missiles too. Caramel metal armor too. But I believe Star Fortress will unlock something like galactic construction. So let's go into that direction of Star Fortress. It will be good. I'm convinced. the civilian villains we need more consumer goods more mega grissom has arrived in the southern germany system nice send you here to new schwabenland mm. actually yeah, we have research labs in ingolstadt we have a ship there In Sirius Prime. Let's send the ship to Sirius Prime. Or rather the researcher, Ludmila Chernik, are doing anything? No. Go there, assist research. So Sirius Prime has something. Then Mega Earth. Alpha Centauri has nothing. New Schwabenland has nothing. Yeah, just assist research that is not there. So you might learn something. Hmm. That's kind of they could, they should patch this out. We'll we'll do it so because yeah, we can learn something floating in space and looking at whatever is up there. But it's kind of it feels abusish. <laughs> On the other hand, it, it costs us money, so or energy credits, so it's probably not that abusive. Wish. Let's buy a lot of consumer goods here. Because we need to. Let's try to remedy that later. But where? Where? Alpha Centauri could really be something for that. They lack amenities. Need something there that gives them amenities. Hmm. 
luxury residences, holo theaters probably. Turn consumer goods into unity and amenities. Hmm. <laughs> so holo theaters we have. What else could we use? Needs to be holo theaters. There we go. Because they are perfectly unhappy there. Also new Schwabenland is starting to get critical, but we have luxury residences there at least. Serious Prime's good. Ingolstadt's kind of good. Harboring has made peace with the current despoilers. Status quo. Oh, nothing happened. Angela Merkel has leveled up. Nice. Very, very good. More resources from jobs, more reduction of crime. Angie, Angie's so good for us. We have the first to to reach that point. Four seven six. That guy for twelve. Four fifty five. Uh, Four thirty. And here two twenty two. Wow, that's crazy. We have so many amenities there. Upscaling complete. Uh, we want serious prime, I think, to to grow. So let's encourage planetary growth there. Ingolstadt has finished the queue. That's good. And now we can grow again. That's pretty nice. What a nice feeling. So we're on an expansion course again. Our population is growing. The human elites are growing. Everyone is kind of growing. And oh, look, healthcare campaign. Yeah, we need the healthcare campaign. We need. First and foremost, the recycling campaign, because we have shortage in consumer goods. Later on, we'll also go for the education campaign. Our leaders to become better. Very, very soon. Come on, give us that. So, technologically, we want to move into the direction of uh, galactic constructions. Oh, look, hyperlane breach points now. In the next month, anyways. Research actualized. Nice, and also education campaign is coming. I've identified the existence of points in space where a ship expends less energy to breach their way into a hyperlane, to lead to a new generation of hyperdrives. And now, oh, the energy nexus, still tempting us. Specialized combat computers. Mm. Could be done, why not? Even more energy credits. Basic combat roads would also be good. 
Now we're going to go for the energy nexus. If we had a good civilian option, we'll take that option. And that will be, I'm sure, pretty interesting. Now we have actually actualized some of our ships. So let's see the missile boat. Improved deflectors would be nice. What do we have here? Reactor booster. Not important. You can go for even more deflectors. And that's fine. What do we have here? We have weapons. That's cool. We have weapons. Nice. Uh, let's take our fleets and actualize these weapons. We have so many alloys. We could do something. Look, we can upgrade to Starhold now. I guess on the station would be nice to do that. And the other stations as well. We'll increase the power of our trade routes and everything else. It will be all will be fine in the next episode. So have a great time until next time and happy gaming. Pray that we survive. Look, oh God, look, look at the consciousness. What is what is happening there? Are they so powerful? No. No. Crazy. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Emmanuel Khan, signing out.